Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. A few months ago I made a Sherman tank and it was kind of a multicolored mess. But now I've got all the right pieces, or almost all of them, still waiting on a few more. And it's a nice dark gray color. I'm just going to quickly go over some of the functions. It's got a full 360 degree rotating turret. It's nice there's no wires inside the turret itself so it can rotate basically infinitely. The tracks are powered by two large Lego Technic motors. It drives pretty well. Uh, it does have some trouble turning on some of the rougher surfaces, but if it's on anything relatively smooth, it does just fine. Now the gun can be aimed up and down manually. We have some logs on the side, as well as some details in the front. Starting with this machine gun up here on the roof. There's a little antenna in the back, as well as another machine gun in the hull. We have some lights, some spare parts, and some other little decorations I felt like adding in. The suspension is the same as it was in the last version of the Sherman tank. Still that vertical suspension found in mostly earlier Shermans. Doesn't have a whole lot of travel to it, but it does work. Inside the suspension is a little rubber tire, which acts as a spring. It's very compact and it fits in nicely right into the side of the tank. Moving on to the rear, this part pops up and reveals an engine bay. It's not super detailed, but I didn't have a lot of space. There we have the receiver hitch. And that's about it for the decorations. Now to reload the shooting mechanism, you take the gun off, that part off, flip the magazine up, slow the shells into place in the magazine. Flip it back down, pops right into place, put that piece back on, put the gun back on, and it's ready to fire. Now a closer look at the shooting mechanism. You take that part off, slides right off. It's powered by a linear actuator, as I said before. And the way it works is the linear actuator goes up, it locks into place on that uh, red bar, and then it goes back down again, releases it, and it fires the shell. The magazine doesn't need any rubber bands or anything to have the shells fall into place. It's all gravity. You could probably make the gun a little bit stronger if you used the more powerful rubber bands, uh, but I was having some issues with the linear actuator and how much uh, it could actually pull. But that's about it. Uh, I might make instructions. We'll see. If you want instructions, please comment. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Many people watching are not subscribed. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.